Turbo 51 over here. I hope you're having an awesome day wherever you are in the world because I definitely am. Guys, welcome to the brand new third game on the channel. We have ditched the GT Sport quite a few months ago. And guys, it is finally time for the new game. We have Project Cars 2. To a lot of people and game reviews, this is the most beautiful sim racing game that there is when it comes to graphics and just the tracks themselves, the cars, everything. This game is graphically absolutely stunning. Guys, we're going to not be jumping into the career mode today. Today we're just going to do a little bit of a quick play so you guys can actually see the game in action. But guys, I am so excited for this. I've wanted a third, a, a, like an official third game for the channel. GT Sport was never an official game of the channel because we just, I just struggled so much with content for GT Sport. But this game has got a solid base to make content from. And I, guys, I can't wait for this to get going. Guys, we're going to jump into the Ferrari Enzo for our first lap. And guys, I thought about going to Imola. This, tra this game, first of all, has a butt ton of cars and a heap load of tracks. Guys, the track variety here is just absolutely insane. Like, I will make a video where I, where I take you guys through all the tracks. I'll make a video where I take you guys through the entire car list. Um, but those will be short five, six minute videos. Just so you guys can see what, um, what, what is on the game. But guys, it's absolutely crazy. But back to the track that I wanted to go to. I really thought about going for Imola. Reason being, Imola is a track I've never driven before. And it is where the, the Italian Grand Prix really, really made a big impact. That's Imola. But guys, then I went down to Monza. And you guys are going to see what I'm going to do now. We can drive the historic Monza circuit. That's the original one. There's the historic one. But let's go down. Come on, go in. It's got the oval. And then we've got the old Grand Prix track combined with the oval. It's a 10 kilometer track. This is how the F1 was, was raced around here in the 60s and 70s. This is going to be amazing. And guys, I can understand. I can completely understand why why race drivers died so easily on this track. You guys are going to see now, no safety barriers whatsoever. Well, there are safety barriers, but not a lot. And you guys are going to see, it's basically full throttle all the way. I think you break for the first corner and like you come off the throttle for a few other corners. But guys, before anything, listen to this beautiful Ferrari Enzo. My dream Ferrari. Listen to this piece of beauty. There's a reason this car bears the name of the man who founded Ferrari, Ferrari Enzo. Well, sorry, Enzo Ferrari. This car's name is the Ferrari Enzo. There's a reason it bears the name of the founder of the company, Mr. Enzo himself. But guys, what an amazing car. Guys, look at this track. Look at the scenery. How beautiful this game is graphically. If you don't have this video on 720p, I'm actually going to be a bit disappointed in you. Guys, this is what the Italian Grand Prix looked like back in the early 60s and 70s. Well, the early 60s till, till the middle 70s. And guys, there are, are actual um, stats that said in those years, the F1 cars, that, the, that era of cars, averaged between 280 and 300 kilometers an hour around this very circuit. That gives you guys an idea of how blisteringly quick a lap around this, tra tra this track was when it came to pure speed, not time. It, this is just crazy. As you guys see, we're breaking into this next corner and I'm, uh, I'm actually very gentle on the car at this stage. Just we're going for a lap here around. Guys, first of all, one thing I'm going to tell you guys now, but I'm going to repeat myself in the next episode. I know myself. The game is not going to be run at max difficulty with all that types of stuff. I don't have traction control turned off. I've got a low traction control setting. I've got ABS on. But you guys see, unlike F1, I've got no racing line. So this game, I'm going to throw myself in, onto, in the, to the deep side with it when it comes 
to the racing line. I'm going to learn all the tracks as we go through the career mode. Obviously, we've got to do the career mode. I mean, come on, what is this channel about? We are going to do the career mode, definitely. But at this stage, for this video, episode one is just going to be a fun one. From the next episode, we will be jumping into the career mode. And um, guys, I can't tell you guys how, how excited I am for this. Don't fear. We will jump back onto F1 very shortly. I understand you guys saw the, bra the, the first episode of Season 3 yesterday. Or well, today, whenever you watched it. We are going to do two Project Cars videos. Then we're going to jump back onto F1. Do a few Grand Prix. Jump back onto Dirt. Do a few, go on with the career mode then. And then jump back onto Project Cars. Um, so it's going to be F1 Dirt Project Cars. F1 Dirt Project Cars. But I'm going to release episodes as I feel. As I have a very, very terrible e exit. Guys, this game has got a totally different handling model to the to Dirt and to, to F1. Remember, those both those games are created by Codemasters. This game, actually, I'm not sure who the creator is. Because I bought this game online. It was an Easter weekend special. And um, to talk you guys through that, there were three games that I wanted to, to make the third game on the channel. This is the game that I wanted most of all because it's a sim. Well, this is a sim racing channel. Second of all was if I decided to go a little bit less, less uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, less dramatic and more fun, it, I would have gone for Need for Speed Heat. And the third game, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I actually can't remember what the third game was. But, I am so satisfied that we have Project Cars. Oh yeah, the third game was MotoGP 2019. I wanted to, to do a little bit of a, of a motorcycle um, career mode. But guys, I am so excited and so hyped for this. That's a, ah, that's a wall. That's a wall. Okay guys, I think we're done with the Enzo for now. <laughs> I think we're done. Um, so those, are the, those are the three games that I looked at and guys when I saw this thing with the Easter weekend special I just couldn't say no it is just it is a game that's worth it and how can we not just do a little bit of a burnout oh yeah oh yeah I didn't do any donuts this video which is actually quite shocking because that's like my thing that's my thing but um this is where you can either select a car and track before jumping straight into a quick race or set up a customized race weekend if you're setting up a customized race weekend, you can decide on the skill and number of opponents, as well as set up alternative race settings, session settings, and rules and regulations. To speed up this process, you can also utilize Motorsport Preset to auto-configure a number of settings that correspond to your selected preset, and then tweak your preferred race weekend from there. Okie dokie, but what I wanted to say was, I actually can't rem remember what I wanted to say. <coughs> I'm a little bit of a nut. <laughs> it's not the worst thing in the world, guys. We're jumping into my ultimate dream car, guys. The Pagani Zonda Cinque Roadster. Oh, yeah. Okay, the guy's not talking. I want to make space so that the, that the guy in the game can talk, actually. Let's call him Jeff 2.0. Yeah. Race settings is where you configure all the options relating to the main race in your custom event. Everything from race length, the in-game date of the race, start time, time progression, weather settings, type of start, and mandatory pit stop. All of this is decided here. Guys, this game has got us so much detail! Oh my goodness, guys, we're gonna have a blast with this. This game is just... Guys, I've already got 2,000 ideas popping up in my head. Um, but back to the car we're driving. Um, guys, the Pagani Zonda Cinque Roadster is one of five. And also one of ten chinkways. You have five five coops and five roadsters. Oh my goodness, look at the weather conditions, guys. You've got monsoon rain, thunderstorms, windy rain conditions, normal rain conditions, sunny, cloudy, overcast. You've even got snow! Look at the left, that's snow! That's snow! Oh wow! Oh guys, weather, hashtag 10 out of 10. Hashtag great job, Project Cars. Great job. Let's get back to the car. Um you guys are probably going to want to know why the Cinque Roadster is my favorite car of all time and my ultimate dream car. Session settings is where you can either enable or disable the practice and or qualifying session for your custom event. This is also where you can configure the duration, in-game start time, time progression and weather settings of both practice and qualifying sessions. Okay, guys, the reason this is my favorite car of all Italian companies 
Opponent settings is where you decide the opponent's skill level, as well as the size of the grid, the car classes the opponents will be racing in, and, if you're not including a qualifying session, in what position you'll start the race. This guy really is Jeff 2.0 because he doesn't stop talking. But in any case, guys, you guys see all the detail going on on your screen. You can even set the, aggr the aggression of the AI. That's absolutely amazing. We're going to keep everything dead centered in the middle because this is a new game and it's a new handling model. I, I don't, I'm not used to this game whatsoever. So we're just going to play it safe. You can even do multi-class races, guys. This is absolutely bonkers. I can't wait. Guys, look at all the classes of different, different types of racing. Look at that. That's crazy. Oh my goodness. But finally, let's get back to the car. Um, guys, I've always been a Pagani fan. I've always chosen Pagani over Ferrari, Lamborghini, Maserati, all those big Italian companies. Reason being is Horatio Pagani, the, the boss of Pagani, really, they, the main thing for him is uniqueness and absolute perfection when it comes to his cars. Guys, this is Honda. And I know this is a long shot because I know people are going to hate me in the comments for this. But this, any Pagani you look at has got more detail than stuff like the Konexic Agueras, Konex Konexic um, one to ones Konexic, what's this new car? The, the, the Jesco, the Bugatti Chirons, Bugatti Veyrons, all this types of stuff. This car is literally the Mona Lisa of cars, in my opinion. You're allowed to differ from me. Everybody is, a, is, is um, able to have their own opinion. I know some people think Lambos are the most pretty, uh, the most pretty cars. Some people think Maseratis are. Some th people think Mercedes are the best, are the most beautiful cars. This car, the detail that Horatio Pagani put in this car because they knew it was only a one of five and a one of five Roadsters and a one of five um, Cinques. The detail of this car is just immense and it's one of the last bigger than 7 litre V12s ever built. It's got a 7.3 litre AMG V12. You guys are going to hear this car when we race. It's an absolute... It's... I, I don't have a word... I don't have a description for how beautiful and how... Int not intriguing, how intricate the sound is. It's just absolutely amazing. But as you guys can see, I took four classes, three roadworthy cars of classes, and, and then I just decided, let's put in the Indy cars just for the fun of it. We're never going to see them, but let's see if they can lap us. That was my intention. Let's see if they can catch us in a 10-minute race. But guys, I'm going to shush. No, actually, I can't, because I know something's going to happen now. I will shush when we have a proper run in this car. But um, first of all, we, uh, we jumped the start. Okay, we actually did not jump the start. That was actually a very good pull away from the line. I slept a bit, actually. The car jumped a bit when I put it in first gear, but I didn't really jump the start. In any case, you guys can see, beautiful to the first quarter, and I'm just... Ah, too low to the brakes! Watch out! Oopsie. So you guys can see it's a new game. <laughs> okay, take two. Okay, it's like, uh, cut and action. <laughs> Let's take two guys, um, and um, oh my goodness, that's a jump start for the ages. <laughs> Twice in a row I've jumped. Oh boy, it's it's fine, it's fine guys. Now this time, back off early, let these guys break, 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 break. Watch out for the BAC mono! <gasps> oh boy. Okay, I just had a little bit of a heart attack. Okay, but in any case, I don't want to bump my dream car, guys. This, Like I said, one of five. Ah, bye-bye BAC mono. <laughs> Uh, get out of my way, son. Get out of my way. Let's go up the banking. And now let's push straight through. In any case, um, guys, one thing that I actually want to talk about is the handling model of this game. It is completely different. Like I said, when you compare it to the Codemasters games of Dirt and F1, those, those two games also don't have similar handling models because they are two completely different types of racing. But guys, this is a completely different different handling model, and you guys are going to see in the career mode, the difficulty is going to be bumped down for a long time as well as the aggression. Though the aggression of the drivers, I might turn up a bit because that's going to make the racing more interesting. Ooh, that's the barrier! Get off! Get off! Get off! Guys, I better switch damage on. Luckily, but in any case, the um, I'm going to keep. Oh, there's a crash! There's a crash there from somebody. Hey, bye. <laughs> See you later, alligator. When I saw my baby. Do, 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 do. You know my love is just for you. Do, do, do. Sorry, sorry. I'm getting sidetracked. I'm getting sidetracked. As let's go into this next corner. But um, yeah, like I said, guys, difficulty is going to be turned down. As a, ah, that's the wall, and that's uh, 
wall. Okay, guys. Um, cut. Take three. And action. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a real nut, nut job. In any case, um... So, please bear with me when it comes to the difficulty of the game um, as we go through the career mode. Guys, obviously as I get more comfortable and I get used to the game and the handling um, engine and all this types of stuff, I will get more comfortable and I will bump up the difficulty. I mean, I'm a sim racer. I want to be challenged. But I don't want to get my, my high knee handed to me every time I put the game in. I still want to enjoy the game. So, and then we, and when I enjoy it, I can make more enjoyable videos for you guys. So, yeah, that is the whole point. You see? You see? I'm working with the plan. I'm working with the plan. And <laughs> in any case, guys, we're going to do so many challenges on this game. We're going to do so many fun videos of just me making some bonkers race weekends. As you guys saw that when we made this little race, there's so many settings you can really play around with absolutely fantastic settings. But guys, as you guys see, this race, I actually got a good start. Um, if you look to the top left, you can see first of six, six, six races, I'm first in my class, but of the total grid of 22 drivers, I'm 11th in total. But at this stage, I will win actually my, my class, which is a very good thing. If you guys look to the top right, that's the mini-map. you guys look to the top and the middle, that's my rearview mirror. If you look to the bottom left, there's nothing except beautiful car. <laughs> if you look to the bottom right, you can actually, guys, you see the four little green blobs? That's my tire temperatures. That when you look on into the right corner, but completely on the left-hand side of the right corner. That is my tire um, pressures and temperatures. Green means good pressure, yellow means starting to overheat, orange means you're in trouble, red means you're screwed. Um, and when it goes colder like that, that means you're still okay, but the tires will have less grip. Then you get to when it's blue, and then once again you're screwed. Um, then we get to that little, that, that, that little green thing next to it. That is for cars that has electrical energy, like hybrids, like for instance the Ferrari LaFerrari, which has got a curse system, the McLaren P1 that's got a hybrid system, cars that are not just engine power that have electrical power to help them along. That's what that is for. That will show you how much electrical energy you still have left to deploy. And then obviously on the right hand side, you guys can see it's my rev counter. Um, you guys see there's a little bit of a green line going up and down on a red line. Green line is so you guys can actually see how much throttle I'm applying. So you, can, you guys can actually see that as my R2 button, how far I'm pressing it down. Um, just the gear shift, the, the, that thing drops down. That's not me. That's just the gear shift because this is still an old classical um, twin plate clutch. So it's a little bit slower than the modern hypercars that we are used to. Um, and then the red one on the left hand side is just my brake, how, how, how heavy I am on the brakes. Um, like I told you guys, I've still got ABS turned on fully. But as I get more comfortable because I've turned off the racing line, I will turn off ABS. I just need to get used to the, to, um, to the game. The ha I need to get used to the handling engine. That's a big thing for me, guys. And obviously, you can see at the bottom of the rev count, it's obviously my speed. On the right-hand side, you've got... Uh, actually, on the top, you've got the temperature. I, don't know, I think that's the oil temperature, if I'm not mistaken. Then you've got just underneath that traction control, then the ABS, and then under that, that's a warning signal for when the star car starts getting damaged. Um, so if there's any mechanical damage. And then on the left-hand side of, in the middle, you guys can actually see my RPM and my gear, the current gear I'm in, and underneath the gear, it is my RPM. And then on the left-hand side, it's the amount of, of fuel I've still got in the gas tank, meaning amount of liters. Um, I actually didn't show that in the video, guys, but the tuning of this game is absolutely bonkers. I, did put, I didn't put in a full, full, fuel of uh, full tank of fuel. Blah, 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 blah full tank of fuel because it was just a 10 minute race as you guys see this is the coolest camera i've ever seen in my life you can actually watch the entire middle of the car i will never be able to drive like this i'll absolutely die but that's just pretty cool and um yeah um, i'm actually gonna keep quiet after a, a stage now because i want you guys to just listen to this car um but i want to do it um as you guys see the car heading through the first two corners this is actually my fastest lap of the whole race that's why i kept the oh, that's the barrier that's why I kept it so you guys can see the whole lap. It's absolutely an awesome lap. I didn't go into sixth gear um, actually with this car because for some other reason, this car's default setup, if you go into sixth gear, the car starts dying. You start losing speed and RPM. So I just kept it in fifth gear. That's the easiest way to go around about it. So you guys see into the corner, oh, the downshifts. It's the upshifts shifts and the downshifts of this car. It's so aggressive. That it's like... The engine just has a little bit of a bark at you, like a, a very aggressive dog is just like Bruh! And you're like, ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, guys, I get chills just listening to this while I'm commentating. This is just... Guys, I can't get this, 
th this sound out of my head. This I can fall asleep to this. This is this is this is a, a swan song. This is beautiful. This is amazing. Okay, dogs. So you guys can see here. This is the lap. Um, I'm actually um very quickly getting used to the car now. Not the game yet. I'm getting used to the car. So I was starting to get more comfortable, starting to to feel more comfortable to start pushing. And as you guys see, this I'm currently almost two seconds. Now I go over the two second mark. If you look just underneath my rearview mirror. I'm just faster than my um, current personal best. Obviously, the indie cars are going to thrash us when it comes to fastest lap. Um, but yeah, this final corner, I made a bit of a foof about it, as we've got a Porsche 918 Spider ahead of us. Hello, Porsche. Um, you are a class above me. Why am I catching you? Probably the low AI, or he had a crash. That's also a possibility. As we've got two minutes to go on the clock, there, guys, you guys quickly heard my engineer. Sounds like a NASCAR engineer. But we come across the line to do our best lap of uh your own personal I they actually don't show you of your full lap. Um that's actually a little bit weird. But in any case, I'm actually catching up to this 918. I'm really good through the first um four corners, guys. It's a it's a quad chicane. There goes an Indy car on the left hand side, guys. You guys saw the number two blasting past. It's the guy in second place. That's damn it, 918. Let me go, man. Okay, guys. Uh yeah. I'm just gonna keep quiet for a little bit. And um yeah. I'm gonna make you guys listen to this absolute piece of art. As the what? I just switched on my pit limiter. <laughs> okay, so I found out what the button was for that, and that's in by brake bias and all that types of stuff. But I just found my pit limiter button. <laughs> uh, I'm a nut job. Oh guys, I need help. I need help. But in any case, guys, I'm gonna keep quiet now, legit, and uh, you guys can listen to this absolute beauty of a car. Please enjoy. There is no better sounding V12. The car that gets close to this is the V12 of the Ferrari F12. That's the all. That's all. But it's still not as beautiful as this. As I make a little bit of a mistake in the final corner. Ah, get off the grass, get off the grass, get off the grass. Not a very beautiful final corner, but a final corner indeed. Guys, that has been the race. Somebody is actually pitting ahead of us. Hey, I'm not gonna lie, P9! <laughs> guys, we get into the top 10! Yeah, baby! Yeah! Oh, guys. This game. This game is amazing. You have a cooldown lap! For those of you guys that don't, that aren't really motorsport fans, you won't, won't understand this. But we in the motorsport community have been asking so long for a game that has a cooldown lap. Because it's like a celebration lap if you have a good race. You can celebrate. Now, obviously, this track is stupidly long, so I'm not going to do a cooldown lap now. I'm going to skip the cooldown lap. But, oh my soul. Guys, the detail, the amount of content in this game is mind-blowing. It is legitly mind-blowing. Blowing. I I can't. I can't. My my mind my mind is, is blown. My mind is blown. I actually want to see my fastest lap. Two minute thirty seven point three. Hey, that's actually a very fast lap. If you guys compare it to the 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 A class cars, the group I I was in group B. I actually nearly matched them as the P one won group A with a LaFerrari in P two. Um, I won my class in P1, and then the Wira BC was in P3 for the group A's. Okay, sweet, sweet. The Indy cars all look the same to me. I'm not an Indy car. I'm not a, a, a no a, a know it all about Indy car. They are single seater race cars, but guys, I've only recently started to watch stuff like the Indy 500 and all that types of stuff. So I'm not I'm not very clued up when it comes to the Indy cars. But they are nevertheless they're freaking cool. And what the best thing is, they're not faster than F1 cars when it comes to a track. So that's all that matters to me. <laughs> the F1 cars need to stay up top. <laughs> but as you guys see, that's everybody all the way downwards. And guys, that has been this video. Welcome to Project Cars. Welcome to a new chapter on the Turbo Fox Races channel. I'm so glad you guys are on board with this series. It's going to be awesome. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for staying till the end. Please, if you're not yet part of the family, hit the subscribe down below. Don't forget to ding the bell to be part of the family. And first of all, welcome to you. Don't miss a future episode. Second of all, leave a like down below. I highly appreciate it. 
Trust me, I do. So drop a like down below. And finally, share this video with your friends on all your social media platforms. Tag me and I'll give you a shout out in a future video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys for episode two tomorrow. Cheers!